Dr. Fuck here with my Armored Saint collection. The reason I'm doing my collection today, if you're watching this as the day I put up, is this Friday I'm reviewing Symbol of Salvation. I didn't make a commercial for it like I usually do. I figure I'll do the, I'll plug it here on the collection video. All right, let's start with the vinyl. I bought this way back in the day. Uh, and let me show you this. I don't know if you can make this out. This is the first EP, and if you look at the back, I had John Bush sign it. He says, hey, Ralph, who the hell is this guy? And, he, and it's an arrow pointing at him. I don't know if you can make that out. And then I had the rest of the band sign it, except for, of course, the late great uh, David Pritchard, who I never had the pleasure to see live. Uh, I do have this poster. I'll show you this on the wall there. Um, that my buddy uh, got me, David, uh, David uh, love it. Thank you for getting me it. Has David Pritchard's autograph, and uh, I believe it was Joey Vera and John, maybe Joey Vera and Gonzo I had signed it. Then when I met them, I had them all sign it, as you can see in this picture. And uh, I asked Joey, uh, hey, is this David's autograph? And he said, you know, David didn't sign his name like that, but uh, he he was known to you know sign his name really really big if he was really drunk so not a clear-cut answer if that was uh, indeed uh, his autograph or not but hoping it is all right and now the next album this was the first one I bought when I saw the video for can you deliver back in 84 I believe this album came out ran out and bought it this is a classic Band is not too crazy about the production. I don't mind it because I really am not that good at production. But the guy that produced this was Michael James Jackson, the same guy that produced Creatures of the Night. And, well, I can tell you, it doesn't sound as good as Creatures of the Night as far as the drums go. But I absolutely love this album. Stripping my fake, seducer, and so on. Uh, this is a reissue, and I have yet to open this of the first EP. And there's something different on this, right? No, there's not. Nope, nothing different. But uh, I bought this because I'm a huge fan. And uh, I will open this because uh, I'm not playing that old one anymore. Even though the old one still sounds fine, but whatever. You know, I'm very torn between Delirious Nomad, their second album, full-length album with Max Norman producing, between this and Symbol Salvation as my favorite album, pretty much tied. But, uh... I absolutely love this album. Not a fan of the album cover, but you see, I had the band sign this on the Symbol of Salvation tour. I took this along with me, which by the way, uh, I was there all day and I hung out with Jeff Duncan for about, I don't know, like three, four hours. And I drank so much Jack Daniels by the time uh, John Bush and Joey Vera arrived, it was nighttime. I was so drunk and we had a video camera. Yes, we had a video camera even back then. It only ran like, I don't know, like 30 minutes worth of battery. And there's footage of me with both of them. And I'm so fucking drunk that, let me tell you something. I am not one to be ashamed of anything I do. I'm a total goof. I've never been, uh, I've never been nervous going on stage. I act like a complete goof. But that one, that video is a little too much. And I can't believe they didn't like say, get the fuck away from me. I went up to Joey Vera going, Release, dude! Release is the last song on here where he does like a little bass solo. Release! And they, they actually laughed. They thought I was funny. Raise in Fear. This one I had everybody sign when I saw him open for Queens, right? Which I'll talk about that in a second. Then there's times I think this is the best album. <laughs> it's definitely like probably the heaviest uh, Armored Saint album with Chemical Warfare, Book of Blood. I love the song that's not on here, uh, Crisis of Life, that's on the CD, the bonus track. But man, the title track, Isolation, what a great ballad. A uh, Human Vulture, keep that bloody steak away. Crosses burn my eyes. One of the greatest vocal deliveries I've ever heard in the history of metal. John Bush rules. Then they got dropped by Chrysalis and they released this. This is uh, Saints Will Conquer. It's an EP. It's a live EP, um, too short, and it does have a bonus track, uh, No Reason to Live, from the early days. I think it was probably uh, from the EP um, recordings. 
Uh, it, to tell you the truth, I don't think Armored Saint has ever made a bad album. They're one of those weird bands for me, rare bands, that their discography, I love every album. But I'll have to put this at the bottom, uh, even though I do love it. It's an EP and it's live. It, it makes me want more. Alright, like I said earlier. And this one came out on, uh, like a year ago. Uh, Symbol Salvation, first time on vinyl. And I got the super deluxe uh, set that brought three versions of this, and I can't find one of them. I have the other one here somewhere. Uh, the other two are sealed, but this one is uh, uh, Marble Brown, and it brings something in here, right? I think it brings, yeah, it brings a poster of the cover and, uh, and this. Lyrics, you know, little notes and pictures of the band. This is a fucking masterpiece. Musically, it's the best. Like, you know, as far as, uh, there's just so many styles of music on this album. And the truth always hurts. That fucking song. Uh, it's got this bluesy feel. It's just godly. And of course, Reign of Fire, uh, Tribal Dance, Hanging Judge, title track, fucking tainted ass. Jesus, this is a great album. Spineless, every song on here is a winner. Okay, then uh, John Bush joined Anthrax, and they never released Revelations on vinyl, I don't think, but I could be wrong. And then they released uh, Not the Old School, which I don't think they released on vinyl, but after both of those was La Raza. Now this one, I'll be honest with you, when I first got this album, I didn't like it. I was like, all right, finally, Armour Saint did an album I didn't like. But, because it's different. This is a really different album. But yeah, it's 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 awesome now. It finally, it's a grower. I love Chill. That's probably my favorite track on here. Um, Loose Cannons, Head On, Left Hook from My Field. Uh, there's a lot of great songs on here. A lot of great songs on here. But it's different. This is a very different album. It's not your usual Armored Saint album. But it rules. Then their last one. Last studio album, that is. Uh, and only 300 of these were made. It's a silver vinyl with bonus track and poster. Uh, this album is fucking great. Uh, Win hands down. Phenomenal fucking album. Great. Better than a lot of Ross, I think. Uh, and it's fucking... Uh, just fucking great. Love it. Alright, and the last vinyl I got was their last release. Was, um... What's this called? Kate Noctom. Carp not Tom, I don't know what the fuck it's called. Uh, this is a live album, and this one, uh, I talked I talked to Joey Beer about this album. He said uh, they wanted to make an album that didn't feature any songs off Saints Will Conquer. It's a great album. This is awesome. Um, and it's on black vinyl. And, there, there's, uh, and this is the way I like my vinyl. I like my vinyl like I like my Sabbath. Black. All right, that's pretty much it for all the vinyl, but I do have Long Before I Die, the single that's Long Before I Die on both sides. Okay, and here I have it again, the last album, but this one is, uh, what the hell's in here? There's stuff in here. There's stuff in here. Okay, there's stuff. It brings a poster, a, a live poster thing, and there's something else in here. What can this be? Hmm. Oh, a sign poster. See, I bought this one. This is the one I bought uh, on, what's that thing called? Uh, where, you know, before they, they release it, they, they they let out, like, you know, certain packages. And, uh, and this vinyl is splatter yellow. And uh, it sounds fine and all, but like I said, I like my vinyl like. Certainly you like your coffee. Okay, and like I said, I bought the Alter, this is the sign, this is a, this one is a pastel pink lilac, and it's still sealed, um, and only 200 of these were made. Okay, so that's it. That's my vinyl collection of Armored Saint. Now my CDs, which I have them all signed. March of the Saint, Delirious Nomad, 
Raising Fear, Saints Will Conquer. Now this one, uh, Symbol Salvation, is a box set version that brings all the demos that features Dave, the late, great Dave Pritchard and a really good interview on here. It's awesome. Uh, here's one that did not release on uh, on vinyl that I know of, Revelations, when they reunited in 2000 or early 2000s. I flew to San Jose, California to see this show. And like last year, we had the great Brian Davis, who has an awesome podcast called Damn Good Movie Memories. Uh, he was on our show. He was at the same show I went to because he lives over there. Now, this one, I'm missing the cover, man, which is a bummer. This is a uh, ode to, uh, ode to uh, not to the old school, which brings the full EP, but it also brings a bunch of uh, covers and some uh, original tracks. And this one is a special edition one. It brings a bonus. Um, doesn't this have a uh, DVD of uh, Trip Through Old Red Times? Maybe not. I think it does. That you can only play it on on the computer. But it also brings You Can Run But You Can't Hide, an amazing song that's off of uh, Decline of Western Civilization soundtrack, which was another thing I told John Bush while I was all drunk and stupid. And, uh, you know, when he says, what was yours is now mine, I scream it at him. I, it's the most embarrassing video. Nobody will ever see it. Got La Raza on CD and Win Hands Down. That's all the CDs I have. I don't know if they released a live one. And this brings a bonus DVD in it. And the bonus DVD, uh, you know, has them jamming and stuff. And I, I gotta watch it again. I haven't seen it in a while, but I do remember I liked it. So that's it. That's my Armored Saint collection. But, you know, I also have Trip Through Red Times, the, the DVD, which uh, brings a lot of cool bonus stuff. And this one, this is a cool one, uh, Lesson Well Learned, uh, Armored Saint Magazine. This brings a lot of bootleg stuff and interviews and... And a great little, oh no, I think this is the one that brought an amazing bonus feature of that. They're all sitting around a table talking about their history. And I also have Trip Through Red Times on VHS. Now, when they came on tour with uh, Queensryche, I, I got the VIP. And uh, we got this shirt. This is a shirt that they gave to the VIP people. And... Uh, I know I got other stuff, but I searched the bag and it's not in there. But I did get sticks. You can see that armor saying on it. And I know I got guitar picks. A poster signed that I think, uh, I'm not sure where I put it, but I do have that. And uh, these stickers. Uh, Metal Blade and, uh, and so on. But that's it, man. That's my collection. My armor saying collection. I have every official release. I have a bunch of uh, bootlegs on VHS uh, also. Um, a lot of like Billy Barty's, uh, the early show that is on Trip Through Red Times. I think uh, they're doing Lesson Well Learned on that one. Really good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. And this Friday, if you're watching this while it's brand new, my review of Symbol of Salvation. Thanks for watching. Later.